hello students we were discussing about the useful aspect of the fungi and we were left with discuss discussion of two points that means we were about to discuss two points which i'll be continuing in this uh, lecture so we were discussing useful fungi we discussed uh, when we talk about the useful part of fungi we have discussed that how fungi is useful in making cheese maybe other dairy products how it is useful in the field of medical how it is useful in agriculture because it is responsible for dead and decom uh, you know decomposition of dead and decay parts it is also useful for making manure and it works upon the dead plants and animals we have discussed how the few fungi can be used as food now we are going to talk about the process of fermentation how the process of fermentation uh, is done by microorganism and how this is very very useful for us so now we are talking about fermentation what is the meaning of fermentation we all know that we have uh, you know microorganisms works in different different ways and we have discussed about the idlis dosas and doklas all these are what fermented food but what is the meaning how can we define the process of the, uh, how can we define this word fermentation so fermentation is a process in which the microorganisms break the carbohydrate into simpler uh, parts so what are the simpler parts uh, maybe the ethanol and the carbon dioxide so let me write the definition first of all it is the process where carbohydrates are broken into simpler parts or simple simpler substances we will write the reaction and it will become more easier and simple to understand like c6h12o6 now yeast will act upon this and is going to break it into the simpler substances like c2h5oh this is not an balanced equation and carbon dioxide is also released in this process so what is here we can write over here glucose form of a carbohydrate sugar it is now it is what ethanol and obviously we all know this is carbon dioxide that means this process is known as fermentation which process when the microorganisms break carbohydrate or the glucose into the simpler substances that is the ethanol and in this process even the gas carbon dioxide comes out or it get released now how this process of fermentation how the breakdown of glucose how this breakdown of glucose is important for us and how the production of ethanol is useful for us we are going to talk about this now purely i'll be talking about the wine industry first of all i'll be talking about the wine industry this fermentation we can divide into two first of all in the wine industry and we can also talk about the use in bread industry first 
first of all I am talking the usefulness of fungi in wine industry. Now what are all these alcoholic beverages made up of talk about wine, beer and uh, maybe whiskey all these are actually alcohol and uh, beer I would not say that it is a purest form. Now how it is made and what is the concentration and how the concentration can be changed how it can be made in a you know mild form and how it can be made in a stronger form. So first of all when we talk about wine it for the formation of wine the grapes are used. Now we have discussed this earlier that in the sugary extract of the plant or the sugary part of the plants where take the example of the grapes only or certain sweet part of the or even the nectar if you talk about yeast is already present over there yeast is already present in the sugary part of the uh, plant. If you are talking about the grapes which is used to make wine grapes are used to make wine. Now these grapes are collected washed in whatever procedure then it is crushed and then stored in the fermented uh, jars or you know big containers already this grapes has yeast there yeast is already present there but again artificially also yeast is added means grapes are added or the yeast is added to the crushed uh, grapes. Now why these uh, artificially yeast is added to the grapes the crushed grapes just to increase the speed of the uh, all the reactions to increase the uh, or you know the time consumption should be reduced the formation the reaction should be faster that is the reason the yeast is added artificially also. Now when we talk about the grapes which are crushed and stored in the container and yeast is when yeast starts working upon that what happens the sugary part of the grapes get converted into ethanol and the carbon dioxide gas is also formed over there. Now when this uh, sugary part or of the grapes you know start getting converted into the ethanol obviously the quantity of ethanol will increase slowly yes the grapes are being converted into ethanol. So the quantity of ethanol will increase now when this quantity of ethanol gets or become more than 12 percent when the quantity of ethanol become more than 12 percent or we can say when the concentration of the ethanol get increased okay when the concentration of the ethanol get increased in this fermented jar this ethanol ethanol which is formed due to the reaction of the yeast okay it is formed due to the reaction of the yeast but this ethanol will start killing killing the yeast ethanol will start killing this means what will happen the, the actually this is a simple sentence the yeast will not be able to survive in all this condition in these highly alcoholic condition <coughs> that is the reason when more than the concentration increases to 12 percent or when the ethanol get increased then ethanol becomes you know ethanol uh, or we can say that e it becomes impossible for yeast to survive in such condition. So the number of the yeast get reduced automatically and at the last only ethanol is formed obviously carbon dioxide is formed but all the yeast get uh, killed up. In, the, in this way the production of wine takes place in this way the wine the production of the wine takes place I will write this side wine takes place. Now if I want if I talk about beer now if I talk about beer here the barley maltose is used here 
barley maltose under, undergoes the process of fermentation. Again the same process will take place because again it is also a form of the sugar. Glucose if you talk about fructose, sucrose, maltose all these are the forms of the sugar and all. then all these are what carbohydrates. When again here the process of fermentation takes place again here also what will form the ethanol and the carbon dioxide will be formed but the fla flavor will be different and the concentration will be different. See now uh, all the alcoholic beverages which are available in the market the quality of you know the quality of all these beverages purely depend upon the two things. The thing which is being getting fermented if we talk about barley maltose then the quality of the barley maltose if the quality is good obviously the output the result will be better. The wine the beer which whatever is made uh, from that it will be of better quality if the, the raw material is of better quality. In the same way when we talk about wine where the grips have been used if the grips are of good quality definitely the wine which is going to come out of that will be of good quality. Now uh, it also depends upon the you know the quantity of yeast, the time consumption, the time taken for the fermentation many factors are there actually but just wanted to tell that this also depends upon the quality of the substance which is undergoing the process of fermentation. Maybe it is barley maltose or maybe it is grips, the quality of grips, the quality of barley maltose the number of the, the you know the uh, the quality of yeast also quality means the which uh, kind of yeast is working upon that how many uh, days uh, you know is taken uh, for the formation for the process of fermentation so all these things uh, decides the flavor the uh, you know the quality of the alcoholic beverages if i talk about whiskey which is more stronger than wine Again whiskey is also uh, you know it also for making whiskey also the same procedure is adapted. Now but then why then there is a difference in the uh, flavor why it is more stronger. So what is happening children here the ethanol is formed but along with that certain other things are also formed if we need the pure alcohol in case if the pure alcohol is required the process of distillation takes place. Uh, takes place it is not takes place it is like the, pro, the distillation process is uh, you know uh, all distillation pro, the things are distilled all the distillation process it goes under the process of distillation by the makers and the pure form is uh, distillation. Distillation the pure form of alcohol can be formed that means whenever distillation uh, process is used the pure we all know the process of distillation uh, it is there in the coal and petroleum also and uh, in seven standard also it was there. So the pure form can be obtained by the process of distillation because uh, the it will come up to that particular boiling point and only uh, whatever is required will get evaporated and will be collected and it again uh, it is collected in the form of the gas and then again the gas get converted into the liquid. If you all remember the distillation the process of distillation where the mixture of the substances or uh, is heated and uh, if a substance comes to its boiling point it starts getting you know uh, it get converted into uh, gas which is again collected in the separate containers and uh, again when the temperature get reduced because on the distillation flask the water is being poured and due to distillation uh, the pure form comes and in the form of the gas which again gets converted into liquid that is how the purest form can be uh, removed ok. So when we talk about uh, all these things why the concentration is different why the some uh, alcoholic beverages are very strong because of the difference in the uh, concentration of the alcohol and how this difference in concentration can be taken just by the process of distillation the purest form can be removed. So 
we are first of all talking about the process of fermentation under the heading useful fungi. Fermentation is nothing but just the breakdown of the carbohydrate by the microorganisms and the simpler substances are formed like ethanol and carbon dioxide. By the help of the grapes the wine can be made when the uh, sugary part of the or when the grapes undergoes the process of fermentation the ethanol and the carbon dioxide is produced. In the same way beer is made by the barley maltose it also undergoes the process of fermentation and then beer is produced and whiskey if I talk about then the higher concentration the good uh, contain the uh, you know only the pure uh, ethanol will be taken and that is how the uh, different alcoholic beverages are made with different concentration of alcohol and different uh, you know certain aromas and different uh, I told you the things on which the aroma and the flavor and the quality depends upon. And important point that when 12 percent when the ethanol uh, part get increased the yeast will not be able to the yeast does not survive in such kind of conditions and they automatically get killed and so the thing which is left is purely the ethanol. Now when we talk about the uh, importance of wine when we talk about the importance of wine wine is uh, you know it is uh, very useful as it generate lot of government uh, you know I should say the taxes and the highly uh, that government get all these things taxes are being taxes are there and so it is very beneficial industry for the government. But if you talk about the human body wine is uh, wine also plays an important role in the body if it is taken as medicine as prescribed by the doctors it is a, it gets absorbed readily into the body ok. But you know what is happening uh, it never happens that the person takes as prescribed by the doctor automatically they the, the quantity get increased and then it can be very disastrous very destructive not only for the health of that particular person it will damage liver it will uh, destroy nervous system it will do all this like no all this negative aspects comes in front. But along with that these the personal life as well as the social life of the person get also get destroyed. So uh, it would not be any time advisable uh, to have wine. Uh, definitely certain uh, contains uh, you know in certain concentration it is very very useful but still as it is very difficult to take this in that particular limited amount as prescribed by the doctors and so it should be totally avoided. As well said precautions are better than cure so no uh, if the precautions are taken not to take it only ok then it will be better. So. Uh, we will talk about now bread industry we have discussed about the use of fermentation in the wine industry. Now how bread industry is benefited by the use of the yeast or by the use or by the process of fermentation. When we talk about bread how bread is made for this the flour is taken or I should say atta. flour and this flour is of wheat or uh, see wheat bread is also available in the market and the um, uh, commonly which is made by maida. How these breads are made and how the process of fermentation plays an important role in the bread industry. So when this flour is taken that means when atta is taken and in this atta what has to be added fats has to be added fats means what oil has to be added oil is what again fat along with that salt has to be added and water generally hot water is required. Now I am saying that atta or maida is taken in this atta or maida the oil which uh, will be the fat one uh, which will be the fat one means uh, which is fats all means fats and in this salt is added and it is uh, 
kneaded with the help of the lukewarm water then what will happen dove will be formed dove will be formed now in this dove what is there again the the uh, obviously the yeast is also added over here okay the yeast is also added now this yeast will work upon the floor the yeast will work upon the floor and what will happen over here children actually the starch will get converted into sugar the starch will get converted into sugar now when the starch will get converted into sugar again the ethanol and the carbon dioxide will be produced again the ethanol and the carbon dioxide will be produced now what will happen when the carbon dioxide will be produced it will come out in the form of the bubbles and it will rise the dough or it will rise the uh, you know the bread three times of the volume it will rise the dough by three times of the volume okay it get increased the volume get increased by three times volume volume get increased by three times the volume get increased by three times now due to what i said that when the carbon dioxide starts coming out it comes out in the form of the bubbles and it rise the uh, dough due to which the bread becomes very very soft now what about the uh, ethanol which is formed over there now due to the process of you know due to the heat due to the process of all the, when the heat is being provided the ethanol get evaporated the ethanol get evaporated and carbon dioxide is also coming out only in the form of the bubbles it, it is coming out it is rising the dough that means the so the bread will become very very soft that is the reason why the uh, yeast is used in the bread industry why this process of fermentation is very very useful for us so we are discussing about the this was the last part of the last useful aspect of the fungi as discussed earlier fungi uh, plays very important role in the uh, dairy products like cheese in medical field in agriculture in food in formation of manure in the for, in the you know decayed uh, decomposition of dead and decay organisms now we are talking purely about the process of fermentation what is the process of fermentation what does it says it says that fermentation is what it is a process where the carbohydrate get converted into the maltose or the i should i should what maltose the car, the carbohydrate get converted into the simpler substances like ethanol and the carbon dioxide now even uh, maltose okay it is also a form of the sugar and it will also be converted into the simpler substances like ethanol and the carbon dioxide now the fermentation process is used in the wine industry as due to fermentation this is alcohol and carbon dioxide is formed now the quality of the wine beer and whiskey and whatever alcoholic beverages are there it depends upon many things out of which the uh, the quality of the raw material also plays a very important role now again other things can be the time or you know the quantity of yeast and all these things now when the pure form of the alcohol is required the process of distillation is conducted due to which the different concentration of alcohol can be conduct, uh, can be collected now when we talk about beer here the barley maltose undergoes the fermentation process that means the barley maltose is the one which is used uh, for the making of beer if i talk about the importance of fermentation in bread industry then it is used to make the breads very very spongy and soft where again the fermentation process takes place and the starch gets converted into the sugar where the starch gets converted into the sugar now here due to the carbon dioxide the volume get increased by 3% and it makes the bread very very soft this was totally what uh, the 
uh, fermentation pro the fermentation process or the useful aspect of the fungi which we have already discussed earlier. Now this was all about useful aspect now we will talk about the harmful effects of fungi. Now we will talk about harmful effects of fungi. Now when we talk about harmful aspects of fungi, see children whenever we are talking about the useful and harmful aspect of microorganism, uh, more or less the broader part will be same, broadly uh, not broadly means broader part will be same means what if in the last in the last of this chapter if, when we will be discussing about the gist of the chapter. Uh, we will be discussing about overall use of microorganisms and overall harmful aspects of microorganism. So, it can be what can be the uses of microorganism as you know all which were discussed in the medical uh, that means the for the formation of maybe antibiotics or vaccines maybe the uh, formation of you know in the one or the other uh, medical part tablets antibiotics, vaccines and serums and all this. Now, uh, in agriculture for making manure for decomposition of dead plants and animals, uh, in the dairy products, in the giving flow uh, you know particular flavor and uh, aroma to the food items as food items as take the example of the mushroom, uh, mushrooms it is taken as uh, you know food. It, it is you it is used as vegetable or uh, the pieces the small pieces are utilized in the uh, pulaos uh, you know uh, the gravies and the uh, sometimes the you know the um, uh, some uh, fried things along with that also mushrooms can be added in, in the soups also the small pieces are used. So, overall when we talk about the microorganisms can be used in medical, in the cosmetics, in the agriculture, in the food items and there then we, we have the you have to quote the different different examples. When in the similar way if we talk about the harmful aspects then how these uh, uh, microorganisms can be harmful only in three ways. It can be harmful only in three ways. First of all it create diseases ok, it create diseases diseases can also be divided again it create diseases in humans, it create diseases in plants, it create diseases in uh, uh, like animals. So, what can be the broader uh, you know way if I, if I want to you know uh, say overall that what can be the harmful uh, aspects of the microorganism. All microorganisms most of will be when we talk about the harmful aspects we will be talking about what diseases. So, these will be responsible for creating diseases in various forms. What can be the other one the spoiling of food the uh, the deformation of poison in the food yes it is it will be the different the second aspect the second uh, harmful effect. What will be the third one uh, for the decomposition of you know maybe it works upon it start decomposing or spoiling the leather, the books, the papers, uh, the clothes sometimes the fabric. So, there can be nothing apart from these three. When we talk about now I am talking I will be talking purely about the fungi, but when we will be talking in general about the usefulness of the, uh, of the microorganism all the microorganism and the harmful uh, areas of the microorganism. So, I am saying that we can divide the uses and the you know the harmful aspect into all these categories only. So, by the end of this chapter you should be able to write the answer by your own that yeah if I have to write the uses and basically the uses will be in antibiotics, will be in serums, will be in vaccines, uh, agriculture and, uh, and uh, in food, produ food production something may be like cheese or maybe like uh, uh, like you know the uh, some uh, you know, mushrooms like uh, some algas are also consumed eaten. So, basically the headings will be this then the only the uh, uh, quoting of the examples are will be left. 
So now purely I'll be talking about the harmful effects of fungi. What are the harmful effects of fungi? The same thing. It will destroy. It will destroy what? Especially when the uh, temperature is high and the uh, it is like moisture is there. Again, when we talk about what are the conditions for the survival of the microorganism, there are certain conditions which are very very fixed. Okay, like suitable temperature, oxygen, which I'll be discussing after this. First of all, we'll focus upon harmful effects of fungi. First of all, it destroys. paper books fabric leather okay that means spoiling that means destroying the thing this will be the first harmful effect that it will be destroying all these things now second if i talk about uh, give rise to certain diseases in humans animals and also in plants even if uh, you are you know sometimes it happens that they have asked certain particular uh, in the exam suppose a particular question is given please give the uh, the harmful effect of the protozoa so even sometimes due to some confusion or some due to some conditions if you are not able to recall you are not able to know uh, recall the answer which you have read so at least you can write the major aspects that yeah these these can be the points so when we talk about the diseases in humans and especially of fungi when i'm talking about so it can be eczema and athlete uh, you know feet or yeah so uh, even the ringworm so uh, commonly these are the diseases which are caused that means the skin diseases generally yes eczema is a skin disease now what are the uh, what we are talking about we are talking about the diseases which is caused uh, by the fungi so i have written here eczema i have written here uh, athlete's foot and i have written here ringworm that means these are the major diseases which are caused by the uh fungi now if we talk about the plants animals also certain same kind of diseases maybe the skin diseases now when we talk about the plants the rust and smuts rust and smuts are the major diseases we talk about distilago such kind of fungi uh, fungi sorry so these are very very uh, you know uh, these are responsible for certain uh, diseases in the plants and uh, which can sometimes you know even these diseases increase to a certain level and can destroy the crops also so maybe rust and smuts can be caused and this can be caused by like one of the uh, example okay like ustilego so this is also one of the fungi which which is responsible for several diseases in plants plants also uh, get affected badly by the microorganisms and sometime it destroys plants in uh, to such an extent that the whole crop get destroyed so rust and smuts are one of the very common out of that animals if we talk about the same kind of problems that even the animals suffer so what are the now if uh, the third one if i want to write i can write like mushrooms which are poisonous few mushrooms are very very beautiful few mushrooms are very beautiful but they are very poisonous so mushrooms are what poisonous and so how it is harmful uh, it give rise to death of several organism several organism means when the other animals which 
uh, consume, which try to consume and they do not know about the uh, mushroom, then what can it can give rise to death of that particular organism. So, when I am talking about the harmful effect of fungi, what are the harmful effects of fungi? It destroys paper, book, fabric, leather, it give rise to certain diseases like the eczema, at least foot and the ringworms to the animals and the uh, I, I mean to say humans, similar kind of diseases in the animals also and the plant diseases like rust and smuts, Eustiligo is not responsible for creating both ok. Now, and the certain fungi which uh, like take the example of the mushrooms which are very very beautiful, but at the same time they are uh, very very poisonous and give rise to the uh, or we can say that these are responsible for the food poisoning in uh, animals or maybe sometime very dreadful and can uh, be responsible for the death of the organism. So, see broadly I have discussed if what I was saying earlier that even in the exam sometimes due to some confusion or you know uh, if I, we have not read something anything may can uh, anything can happen. We are not able to write the answer of that particular microorganism, but at least we sh you should be able to write the broader uses of the microorganism or broader uh, aspects harmful aspects of that particular microorganism. So, this was all about the usefulness uh, of fungi and harmful aspect of the fungi which half is already discussed earlier also. So, please note this down now I can move to the next one.